Hi there, I'm Matt and welcome to MC Miniature Models Painting Zone. Uh, this is the first tutorial I've done so please bear with me. The idea of this tutorial is I wanted to cover off the AVP Alien Royal Guard uh, paint job that I did. So um, the purpose of the video is to share with you my painting guide and how I did this to help you get ideas on how to paint your models and also to develop uh, mine and also your miniature painting skills. So I'll be breaking it down into sections in terms of the areas of the model, the skin, the exoskeleton, mouth, teeth, various details, the towel and so on. And um, I'll be covering off the different paints that I covered in each of the different sections. So please uh, hang in there. Um, like I say, I'd really appreciate some feedback at the end of it on what you thought of the video coverage and actually the model and how it's come out. Um, because, you know, feedback's always good. That's what helps me develop anyway. So uh, it's going to go through a, a series of sections here. Hope you enjoy. Hope you use some of the advice that I give and uh, enjoy. So first of all with the skin we started off with Death World Forest Citadel paint so that's a base paint and I mixed up with a little bit of the Chaos Black from Citadel so that was kind of in a ratio of um, two parts Death World Forest to one part black but you know that's going to be subject to your own kind of taste really but essentially I just wanted to bring that uh, Death World Forest down to a nice dark colour and then what I did was I proceeded to mix that up and on my wet palette of course always on my wet palette and uh, laid that down a uh, nice thin consistency um, I tended to use my uh, number two Windsor & Newton or my number one Windsor & Newton in uh, some of the smaller areas and uh, used that and essentially that was to use the painting on the skin I left the uh, dark recesses where the Chaos Black had gone in there um, and really just caught the, the tops of the skin. So we're talking uh, skin areas on the uh, Alien here. So this would be areas like down the arm, mid midway in the torso here, also on the Alien legs you'll notice I used it down uh, parts of the legs here as well so but really I used it down the inside parts of the legs I'll come on to the front sides of the legs but the inside parts of the legs and also on the reverse side some parts to the the lower part under here so that was the skin areas so I started off by covering it down with as I say the darker colour and then went in afterwards once that had dried and did some highlights with the Death World Forest uh, picking out you know the lighter areas to start giving it some detail once that had dried off I then went in with some Citadel shade some Seraphane sepia so I took that in a couple of times um, you know obviously wait between each application for it to dry properly and I, I went in the first time I do my shading quite selectively so I don't just bosh it on there uh, again what I tend to use with that is my, my one or two Windsor & Newton and I carefully apply it make sure I'm not getting it pooling too much so I control it a little bit so two lots of that once I'd done that I then wanted to sort of change the uh, the hue if you like change the filters on it a bit so I went in with some of the old I don't know if you're able to get this now but um, Citadel washes Leviathan purple um, I did mix that down a little bit with a little bit of la Lamia medium and then again I did some selective shading with that back across uh, the skin obviously pushing it into the darker areas and particularly where it was going to be meeting around like the slits on the alien and then finally, after I did that, I decided that I wanted to give it a little bit more of a tinge. So I went in with some of the, again, some of the old Citadel Wash uh, Girafone sepia, if that's how you say that. 
So again, that went in lightly in selective areas. So that is essentially how I covered off the skin. So just to recap, skin areas I took to be down the arms here. We also have the skin areas on the inside of the legs. Oh, sorry about that, everyone. Inside the legs, just inside the torso here. Don't know if that's coming out too well, actually, at the moment. And also in the back area. On his butt, if you like. Yeah. So, the exoskeleton. So, with the exoskeleton, I started off with a mixture of Regal Blue. So, that's an old game shop, Games Workshop Citadel colour. Um, so, Regal Blue is quite a nice dark blue. And uh, Chaos Black from Citadel. So, I mixed those two together. Again, to get really a nice dark blue colour. So, the idea here was, again, I wanted to cover... Um, the majority of the uh, exoskeleton and uh, I still left some of the initial dark areas that were done in Chaos Black Primer uh, black in there so um, really picking up the the main parts of it so what we're talking about here is uh, essentially all of the, the parts so his head was essentially done in this fashion the uh, tops of the arms this was how I also approached the fronts of the legs. Yeah, all the way down the fronts of the legs. And obviously down the backs of the legs as well. Yeah, and also this was how this was all done in here with sort of down the back part of his back here, outside of the spine. And also around his uh, rib cage. So all using this this main same technique. So I started off with um, my mixture of these two. Then went in afterwards once that had dried with Regal Blue, um, picking up the highlights. Then what I started doing was, again, I do all my work on, on a wet palette so I can blend things up. So I know this next bit might be a bit scary, but... I then used ice blue. So ice blue, this went in and I essentially started uh, blending, mixing some colours up between the original base colour, which was the combination of these two, through into this, into the blue. Um, and that is how I then approached getting the uh, different layers, if you like, different blends onto that particular surface. So once I was happy with that, I then went in with um, uh, a series of shades. So shades and glazes. So what I did, I went in with some Army Painter Purple Tone. So again, I, I kind of thinned this down with a little bit of water and a little bit of medium. Um, so it's not full on. And this went over the entire um, uh, area for the exoskeleton. So that was the first um, glaze, if you like, or the way I sort of changed the tone on it. Then after that, I went in with some good old uh, cerium sepia again. So brought some cerium sepia on top. So that was the Citadel, so that came back in and that enabled me to again start getting the transitions. Once I'd done that, so I did it a second time, again a bit more focused this time, and that got me kind of to the point where I wanted to be. Now in between, at certain points, I would potentially go back in with the sort of the blend that I still had on my wet palette of these just to pick up some of the highlight areas and just to sort of adjust the blending a little bit with more glazing technique um, to kind of just get that transition how I wanted it. So, yeah, 
that's how I did my um, the, the main parts of the exoskeleton. So I hope you enjoyed that first part of the video tutorial. Come back for part two soon.